everybody. I hope you guys are having a good day. Well, it's over 100 degrees here. And we are in the middle of getting a wind storm. Like, there's no, like, rain or anything with it. So, if if you hear the wind, it's, it's legitimately the wind. Like, welcome to Kansas, Toto. This Dorothy's used to it, I guess. Any hoosies. So, I wanted to come on today and show you a full face with um, Ofra Cosmetics and Hot Mess Mama's palette. I have my foundation on. I have my brows done. And that's it. Uh, that's all. I don't have anything else on. It's Ofra Cosmetics and Hot Mess Mama. Here's the color story. Can you, can you, can you tell that, that it's almost, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, I have been using it a lot. Pretty proud of that. Yeah, if you ask me. Any hoosies, I am going to do it a little different today because I kind of, instead of just leaving the eyeshadow just on the eye, I want to take it out and up. And so I'm going to show you how I have been doing that. Um, first, we're going to start in the crease. We are going to start with this color. This color right here is the one we're starting with. And that's the one that we're going to go in the crease with. And just know I have hooded eyes, so I'm going to go right here, right above the crease. Because I know where my crease is. like that. I do have MAC Paint Pot and Painterly on for the primer. Okay, I'm dipping in a second time. Going to do the dabity dab dab windshield wiper motion. Just like that. Other eye. Okay, so that gave me a new crease. Cause see my crease is right here. I went above it. So I'm going to go in, which is different than what we usually do. I'm going to go in with a brush like this and I'm going to go into this shade and I want to go above the color we put on, but I don't want like, I'm not going to go all the way in. I just want to stay right out here with this color and bring it out and up. Like I, I want to bring this color up to my temple. So like it's, it'll fade as you go up. It's almost like making a check mark. So I'm dipping in a second time, just staying right above that. And I'm going to go up. Okay. Other side. I'm going to go right above shadow we put on. Let's see, right above. And now we're going to make a check mark. Just like that. Now this side is a little darker than this side, so I'm going to dip in a second time and go in a second time. Just like that. Easy peasy, right? Yes. Easy peasy. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go into these two shades. We're going to combine the two. So I'm going to like, no rhyme or reason, just, just dip into the two because you still have to tap it off. Okay. So then we're, we're going to go into this inner corner. I don't know why I cannot talk today. Well, that's every day. But anyway, we're just going to go into this inner corner and we're just going to stay there and just just try to stay in that corner. Like, don't go above. Don't go in. Just try to stay in this corner. And this is the makeup look. I am so glad that it is coming out what's in my head. That's for sure. So I'm staying dark. Right here in this corner. Okay? Just like that. Now... I want to take a brush that's kind of got like a point on it and it could be any brush with a point. And I want to dip into this purple right here. Tap off. Okay. From here, 
we're going to follow this dark and lightly, like a feather, lightly, go up to the dark and underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but to, like, I started at the dark and I'm just staying underneath, underneath this other color that we laid down. And then this space right here, I'm filling in with the purple. But I'm just kind of like bringing in the black with the purple just in this corner. I am really liking that. Sure am. Okay, tap off. And go under. Stay under, stay under, stay under. And it's going to show up better when we're done in the end. Because I'm going to show you how... I clean it up to make it look like there's two separate lines. So we're going to fill in this V. Just going to smudge everything together. And this is what I like about makeup. Like, everybody is like, oh, you wear too much makeup. Or some people might be like, oh, well, makeup's not my thing. Okay, great. But... Makeup washes off at the end of the day, you know? So, my mama always said, you can wash anything off at the end of the day, but you cannot wash off your kindness. And you cannot wash off your past. So, whatever you did that day, make sure that it's worth it. Yipper. Okay, so I'm going to go into uh, MAC Paint Pot and painterly and I'm dipping my brush in there now I dip my brush on the back of my hand just to rub like to really get the the pigment in there because I don't want it clumped on my eye so to clean this up I want to go where we started and I'm just gonna go straight up and let it fade out I have enough on the other side so I'm just gonna use the other side of the brush and I'm gonna start here and go straight up. So all I have to do is fill in the rest of this. And what I love about uh, Painterly is uh, Paint Pot is that it legitimately, and for a lot of people, it's it really is the color of their skin, like for reals. Okay, now we are gonna take an empty brush this time, oh, wrong brush, my bad, hold the phone, my bad, we're going to take another brush like this, and this time we're going to dip in to this shade, and this shade, and this time we're just going to start here, because we have a line that we can't cross, so we're going to start here, lightly feather, to blend this out, and lightly feather out. So you're making this line lighter, like you're smudging it. And the reason why I don't just like go in with both colors on one eye and then all three colors, you know, the next time, there, there is a rhyme or reason because I have found that as these fade, to still make your makeup look good, I want them to fade on me correctly. So I don't mind if, you know, it's not this pigmented all the time. I just want it to fade. I mean, like when it fades, I just don't want it to look ridiculous. Okay, so now I'm taking a flat brush, a packing brush, and I'm going into this shade. And I am going to go all over the rest of my lid. And this is the shimmer that's in here and let me tell you it's subtle but it packs a punch it's sneaky but it packs a punch okay so I'm gonna clean that brush off a little and then I am just gonna rub this back and forth across this line because I don't want it so harsh I want it profound but not like this okay now we're gonna go back into this Okay, and we are going to 
just really pack the shimmer on. I'm taking this on into the inner corner. Just like that. And rub off my brush. Just like that. Okay, now I feel that there is not enough difference between here. So I am going to go in with one of these and I'm going to go into this color because you know the first round, where is it? The first round we used one of these. I want to go in with this. So I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to try to stay within that color, but I'm trying to blend the shimmer and, and stay from like here, which is where that color starts over. I just want more of a color up here. I want more of a difference, I guess I should say. I am really liking this. Do you see the difference? So you have one, two, three, four colors on your eyes. Here in just a jiffy, you're gonna have five. Okay, so I'm taking a small brush like this and I am going into this color and this is going underneath my brows just like this. That way I can separate like my brow. Like all these colors are separated but yet they're still blended. Does that make any sense? I hope so. Any hoosies. I'm going to go in with a small flat brush, okay, and I'm going to go in, I'm going to go into this purple, and I am going in the lower lash line, and I'm just going to let it meet up. Just like that. There we go. Okay, to finish the face, this is bronzer. So I'm going to go into the bronzer, tap off, and I'm going to go along my cheeks, and then go over here, and then I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush, and I'm going to go up here, you know, because we got, you, we got to hide this. I mean, you can't just have my big old forehead hanging out there. Like, we got to hide this thing. I got a shadow. Okay, I'm just gonna pinch this because I don't have my other my other brush over here. So I'm just gonna pinch this, go underneath here, blend, use the edge, blend. Okay, then we're gonna go in with the blush right here, and we're just gonna go over the bronzer. I I don't take my bronzer all the way in, but I do my blush. Oh, that's so pretty. We'll just, we'll just, I am just, yep, yep. We're going there. We're already here. We might as well finish it. Okay. Now I am going to go into the highlighter, tap off, go down my nose. Cupid's bow. Oh, yes. Chin. Cheek. You guys. Okay. I'm just going to go a little bit here, a little bit here. Yep. Okay. Let me finish the face and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Here's the finished look. This is what we created. So I still have the difference in the colors, but it's not so much like in your face and still subtle, but pretty, but strong. I like it. I like it. Um, for the, I just used mascara and lashes. Um, I use Hot Mess Mama for the lippy, and then I used butterfly kisses which is this is her collab also this is part of her collab so yes i will leave the links down below for the 
palette and the lippies. I hope you guys have an awesome, amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go out and do something kind for somebody. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.